Hey everyone. Sorry about the weird view. Um, we got mail. Yeah. And I, we've been so busy. I haven't really been putting it off, but in a way, I guess I kind of have been. I just wanted to pick a quiet time. I have to fill up our fish tanks because, well, they're all making noise, but this particular one's making a lot of noise. Um, this is from Bluegrass Sweetheart. And I haven't looked yet, but I do have it open. But I have an idea of what they are because she did let us know that they were, they said they were delivered. So we made a special trip out. Um, well, we were out, but we made a special trip over to the post office. Um, we don't live in the town where our post office is. <laughs> All right. So, um, oh. There's, whoa. All right, let me just look over this note. These seeds are from Bluegrass Sweetheart. M.I. Gardener, heirloom seeds and more. Oh, you got them from M.I. Gardener. Um, Bigfoot watched M.I. Gardener and now I'm starting to. So that, oh. Are you kidding me? Oh, I'm reading the invoice and I'm not even looking at the seeds. Holy basil, baby. <laughs> you are so sweet. I don't remember where we were. I don't know if we were on TJ Prep stream. We were, we never heard of holy basil. And um, since then I've seen videos um, with people planting it. So I'm super excited about that one. But look, there's seeds. So one's turned around backwards with a card. Am I gardening? But this is from Bluegrass Sweetheart. So, and there's a card. <laughs> um, I'm not sure what these are, but these, uh, Maybe a mixture of things, or I'm not sure. Oh, salad bowl mix. This is a salad bowl mix. These are Johnny Jump Ups. Those are edible. Those are good. Yeah. I love Johnny Jump Ups. They're so pretty. And they spread. Um, lemon basil. Mmm. I'm going to get these planted. Um... Probably tomorrow. Um, this is the holy basil. This is so cool. Look how pretty that is. That is so pretty. Holy basil. I'm loving this. This is so cool. Those little tiny, I bet you the bees and everything are going to love those little flowers. I love purple flowers. <laughs> And Autumn Beauty Sunflower Annual. Um, I guess, yeah, annual. Whoop. Are these the kind of sunflowers that come, they bloom in fall? I had some fall daisies and um, when we moved, I didn't, I didn't bring them with us. Um, but they were neat because they had the pretty foliage all spring and summer, but then towards late summer, early fall they actually bloomed the daisies it was nice because it was a flower that bloomed in the late summer early fall so uh, autumn beauty sunflower i'm not sure if that's because of the name or if these are the type that kind of wait till around fall to to bloom let me know and i'll look it up so these say start indoors two to three weeks before last frost I should have started these two or three weeks ago. I'm so sorry we're bad about getting to the post office. I'll try to start going there more. Okay. <laughs> Four to six feet tall, wow. Six to eight inches spacing. And then the holy basil, four to six weeks before last frost. I'll just plant these tomorrow and these will be good. Yep, it's not too late. Our gardening season is so short. 
Well, I'm so super, super excited. Thank you, Blue Bra Bluegrass Sweetheart. And it's awesome that she ordered from Michigan Gardener, MI Gardener. Y'all go check them out and also go over to Bluegrass Sweet Sweetheart. I'll post both of their links in the description of this video. All right, so that's that one. Just make sure I didn't miss anything. And this is a card from Rose Young. Now there's two cards. There's two cards, guys, from Rose Young. That'll tell you how long it took us. This one card was from March 22nd, and this other one was April 11th. <coughs> I'm not going to read these online unless you tell me otherwise, but um, this is a beautiful card. And thank you, Rose Young, very, very much. But I, I see these as personal messages to Bigfoot and I, so... Unless you tell me otherwise or tell me it's okay, I can go back and I can read it online if you want me to. Um, but happy Easter to you too. And this was an Easter card. Um, we did open these the other day when we got to the post office um, this past weekend. Um, but we appreciate y'all very, very much. And Rose Young, thank you very much. And this one down here is from... Terry Christ. And again, we did open this. Um, this card is absolutely beautiful. We appreciate you guys so much. And when we get cards like this, it means so much to us. Um, I'm going to cry all over again. <laughs> so um, Christmas time, we got cards and I feel bad, but we missed two or three of you. And I did not put that in the video and it made me feel really, really bad. Um, but we did get your cards. Um, we try to make videos every time somebody sends something to us, we do try to make a video um, and show our, you know, appreciation. And um, We love you all so much, but I'm not gonna read these on here again because I feel like they're personal, but they're, they warm our heart and they encourage us to keep going on um, and these things always seem to come around the time that Bigfoot or I or Bigfoot and I need them. And we always show Miss Allie to Bigfoot, a.k.a. Josh. Um, he's on this channel and also on Dig Deeper Ministries. So if anyone is looking for Bigfoot um, blocking, he is Joshua over at dig deeper ministries so i'll link that also in the description of this video <sighs> thank you guys very very much it means a lot um i just didn't want to show any addresses or anything like that this past year and a half let's see october of 2020 <laughs> So this coming October will be two years for this channel. And it's been, um, it's been a roller coaster at times. That's the first thing that comes to my mind. And um, it's been a lot of fun. It's been a learning experience in many different ways, um, positive and negatives. <laughs> but all negatives must be turned into positives, so. Um, that's still happening. But we have learned so much and we have met so many awesome people on through YouTube. Um, years ago, my daughter, well, both of my youngest daughters used to go on YouTube and they'd be giggling and, and sharing things. And, you know, um, one day I got the YouTube and I didn't know how they were like sharing and commenting and stuff because it wouldn't allow me to. And they're like, oh, well, you have to make a YouTube channel. I'm like, I'm not making a YouTube channel. They're like, no, 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 you don't have to do videos. Just, you know, you create. So my daughters helped me. And um, <laughs> they got me on YouTube many years ago. But I had never like really gone on there a lot. Like, I was that girl who'd go watch funny videos or if I wanted to know something, I would look up something and 
I'd watch a video on it. You know, I think something happened with the car that we used to have and I looked it up on YouTube and I was like, wow, this YouTube business is awesome. And I was only in my late thirties then. And um, <laughs> it was just a tool that I used kind of like the internet, you know, where you just look up stuff and, you know, whatever and watch weird things with your kids. I didn't even know up until about a year ago that you could watch shows and movies on YouTube. Um, some you're free, some you have to pay for. So that was kind of cool. Um, but I'm always learning something new, especially from the kids and from all of y'all. Um, I feel like I can't settle and go to bed until I've learned something. And then there's other things that I learn that I can't go to bed because I must learn more. <laughs> Yeah, so I went to the grocery store today. Pasta, we have it, but the shelves are still not full. Um, this time I went, the creamer and the milk were full. Um, never really had a milk problem yet, but um, the creamer issue was an issue. But man, it's expensive. It's so expensive. Um, our cases of 24 waters, like the bottled water, are back down to $2.99 from $4.19. That's a little better. So I did get three cases today. I know I should have got more, but I got three. Um, what else did I get? I don't know. I just got, I, I actually only spend like 70 small dollars today going grocery shopping because we just got a tree taken down as many of you um, I already know. If you don't know, you can go watch the video of the tree being taken down. It's a course of two different videos for that tree because he came on a Wednesday and then had to stop because of our high winds that we were having. And then this past Monday, he finished the tree. So glad to have that down. And we have much more sun going on out there. And now that I've given you a sneak peek, there's something that Grace Johnson sent us in the mail that took us forever to go get. Then I went to my daughter's after we went to go get it and I had opened it in the truck while Bigfoot was driving that day. And then I left it at my daughter's house <laughs> and I had to wait to see her again, like whether we went there, she came here and, <clears throat> well, Grace Johnson took the time to make us something. And I wanted to do this with Bigfoot, but every time I sat down or came into a room and been like, you know, let's let's do this, he didn't he didn't really he couldn't really do it at that time. Or he would get a phone call from work. So we would try to and start to and then he'd get a phone call from work and we would have to stop. Okay, so this right here is a little bun holder for a scrunchie for your hair, and I'm, I would do it to demonstrate it, but I'm holding my phone. So that's really, really cute. Um, actually, my daughter knew exactly what this was, and her hair was already up in a bun, so she like put it on and showed me. Um, the extra yarn, I think, I think that's the extra yarn. If it's not, and it has a different purpose for these, please let me know, Grace. These are really, really cool. Let me see if I can do this with one hand. So they're a scarf and you can twist them. Yeah. And also my youngest daughter might steal the other one from Bigfoot, but I actually like this. She actually showed me this. So she's like, mom, you should put yours on and then tuck it in here when you go out and it keeps your neck and your head warm. So, yeah, and look how it looks in the back. It's so cute, <laughs> but yeah. So, um, I think my daughter already stole the other one. <laughs> I mean, it's right here, I, I got it, but yeah. So, um, thank you very, 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 very much. Um, I can't wait to show my mom because my mom crochets and um, it took a lot of time and I love the stitching and I love the feeling of this yarn. 
my mom uses really good yarn and it's you can tell like it's just a really soft feel it's not like I don't know if you guys have ever felt something that's like an afghan or like yarn but it doesn't the touch kind of feels squeaky this feels like like cotton <laughs> all right well Rose Young, Terry Christ, Grace Johnson, thank you very much. We love you guys, and um, we will see you soon. All right. Have a great day, and God bless.